Hello and welcome to a new episode of Biofilm Minutes. Today we will speak about the main issues of a once through cooling system. We will look about issues derived from biofilm growth specifically. What are the most effective biocides to ensure a right sanitation? Finally, we will see the kind of advantage Alvim technology may offer to optimize the plant treatments. Water is the main substrate life. In large once through cooling towers, there is a huge amount of continuous circulating water, as usual, taken from rivers or other sources. Thus, many microorganisms are carried with it and they get access to this cooling plant. Often, the presence of microorganisms in once through cooling towers leads to an unfavorable outcome. They can float in the liquid or they can deposit on the surfaces of pipes and forming biofilm, releasing sticky substances. The uncontrolled growth of biofilm in cooling system must be avoided because it gets a region to several issues. It reduces the performances of heat exchange. In fact, it has been demonstrated that a 20 micron thick biofilm is enough to cause a loss of 30% of heat exchange efficiency. It raises energy costs because biofilm causes the increase of friction between its surface and water, thus a major energy consumption to have the same water flow. It causes metal corrosion. For these reasons, it's important to limit bacterial proliferation using, for example, biocides. The main biocides used in the industry are hypochlorous acid, chloramine, sodium hypochlorite, chlorine dioxide, ozone. We will see an example of real-time biofilm monitoring in a cooling water system with Alvim sensor and we will have a look to the biocide effectiveness. Chlorine dioxide was added daily in this plant. The dosage was balanced to optimize the biocide effect and minimize the corrosive one. We can see in that specific case on the graph, the baseline in the winter was about 500 millivolts and there was not biofilm growth. You can see the green dotted line on the graph. The quick increase of the signal, or else the peaks, is due to the oxidizing biocide treatment. In the winter, the shock treatment was perfectly effective. Indeed, the algorithm sensor never detected any biofilm growth. With the arrival of the warmest time of the year, from April the concentration of the shock dose was reduced. As you can see the decrease in the daily peaks of album signal. Meanwhile, a residual dose of biocide was added, which determined the increase of baseline. This different approach is due to the higher microbial activity during summer. Indeed, in May and in June, two episodes of biofilm growth occurred in the system. Even in these two cases, the biocide was effective, as the signal came back soon to the baseline. So, we can say that in the once through cooling system where water flows constantly, there is always the risk of biofilm growth. 
This involves uh, several kinds of issues, from legionella contamination to corrosion. It is for sure important to break off the biofilm growth when it starts, because at this stage microorganisms are more sensitive to biocides. Alvim technology allows the monitoring of biofilm in, on the surface of pipes and to verify the efficiency of treatments in real time. If you missed any previous episodes of Biofilm Minutes or if you are interested in other application, you can visit the link below. Thank you for your attention. You can contact us by email or you can visit our website. Goodbye!